Saberland! Today I want to do a quick overview of this Metal Master chassis by MB Sabers. Now the reason I'm doing this overview is because there are a lot of different material options available on Shapeways. They're all different prices and require different amounts of labor to finish. So I'll be starting bottom to top and explaining the details and the materials in this build and why they have been chosen. So starting at the bottom, we have the speaker. This is a wow sound speaker, but any 28 millimeter bass speaker should fit this. We've got a steel insert over top of the speaker and steel hatches over top of the board and the batteries. Now I believe these prints were done when Shapeways still offered stainless steel. Now Shapeways has other options for steel. Uh, the most popular is bronze silver steel. Now when printed it has this sort of yellowy appearance but when polished it matches the appearance of the normal stainless steel fairly closely with a slight yellow tone. Now these were printed in steel despite the extra labor required to finish them for two reasons, cost and appearance. The steel inserts, though again they take hours of sanding and polishing to finish, are cheaper and contrast the brass beautifully. We have the raw brass tech details here and the raw brass main holder. Now even though this is a NeoPixel build, or at least will be a NeoPixel build, we have two 14500s. This was because this was uh, printed before there was the option for 18650s. So we have two 14500 batteries here. You can get ones that uh, handle NeoPixel current just fine. Uh, I'll see if I can't link them below. Uh, moving up, we have both brass and aluminum radiator fins. The aluminum top fin, you can get this piece printed instead if you like. This is raw brass, and these pipes are brass pipes. You got a tiny copper detail here that's handmade. Then the top of the crystal chamber here is steel. The insert in there, if you see closely, is steel. And then the main holders are brass. The Plasma Gate 2.0 is printed in raw brass, along with the inserts, they're also brass. We have aluminum pipes here to contrast the brass, and we have brass piping throughout. The brass has been weathered a little bit to match the finish of the brass down here and the details here. The emitter top is aluminum, it's the raw aluminum finish, and this is the V2 version. You can tell by the swoop here, the cutaway. This is made to fit a clicking slide switch, the angular one, instead of the normal tactile one. And for that, we have the brass insert to fit the clicker switch. We have the inserts here for the glass eye. We have our center insert here and our accent insert here. We have our switch cover and two details here. And you'll notice these are drilled out with larger holes and fit with copper rods. All of these inserts up here were printed in raw brass. The brass for these inserts is, in my opinion, a better option because the steel inserts cannot be cleaned as nicely. They have too many depth details to them to clean nicely and with Shapeways taking away the stainless steel, the nice silver sheen, you end up with a slightly yellowed appearance anyways. So these are printed in brass, they weather nicely, they're easy to refinish, the plasma gate is brass, the details are brass, the top of the crystal chamber is steel, the inserts are brass, the main body is brass, and the hatches are steel. This install is getting a profi board, so we do have the profi board adapter. And though I won't uh, be going into detail about all the electronics, I will be linking in the description below where to purchase all of these parts. And uh, I hope that helps you figure out your own Metal Master build. 